Obviously, drugs and alcohol lower our neurotransmitters and we get caught into that biochemical loop of having it making us feel better and then taking it away and we feel worse and then we want more. So we get into that loop of using. Whether it's a substance or a behavior, um, we're in that addiction loop. And until you fix that addiction loop with nutrition, and behavior modification and meditation and therapy, you'll keep looping. So we have, um, in the work that we do, we do targeted amino acid therapy and um, Julia Ross was really one of the pioneers in that field. Um, also coming, going back to Carl Pfeiffer and, um, and Christina Veselak is also um, doing a lot of work in that as well as I am. So there are five major neurotransmitters. The first one is serotonin. And when serotonin is low, there are many symptoms, um, anxiety, um, depression, uh, worry, um, low self-esteem is also a symptom of low serotonin, which a lot of people just don't love themselves, but it also could be a, a biochemical thing where they're, they don't have enough serotonin, actually. Afternoon or evening cravings, and you know, the real low bottom of serotonin is actually suicide, which is really tragic, um, but those that's a biological connection to low serotonin. Those are all symptoms of low serotonin, and there are many more, fibromyalgia, obsessive compulsive disorder, obsessive thoughts are all symptoms of low serotonin. Um, and so we, we raise that with specific aminos um, that target that particular neurotransmitter. A serotonin deficiency can be caused by many things, obviously substance abuse, um, trauma, hormone imbalance, stress, constant stress, lack of sleep. So our neurotransmitters um, can be downregulated and lowered by all sorts of health conditions that we actually have. And then, you know, we're gonna look for something to bring them back up and generally people go to sugar or a drug of choice or a behavior to bring them back up um, and then they get in that loop of addiction you know because as soon as it, you're taking it away you go into withdrawal and you feel those low serotonin symptoms again worry anxiety fear panic attacks is another low serotonin lack of sleep um, and then you're in that addiction cycle what we're doing is we're using amino acid, targeted amino acids to bring that up and food and therapy um, and meditation um, to actually bring them up and stabilize the, um, that neurotransmitter in a balanced place. So we are attracted to different substances depending on our own biochemistry. Um, people that are attracted to serotonin um, substances, you know, to boost their serotonin, generally alcohol, um, ecstasy, um, a lot of the LSD, um, even though I didn't like that particularly myself, but um, marijuana, um, sugar, you know, that boosts that. The catecholamines is the dopamine, and those are more people that are attracted to energy substances like meth, cocaine, coffee, tobacco. Um, those are people who are tired more you know, and lost their zest for life because the catecholamines, the dopamine, adrenaline, norepinephrine are our alive chemicals. So when we don't have that, we don't feel alive anymore, we're gonna look for something to help us come back up because we're supposed to really be balanced. You know, we're supposed to have more of a balanced brain. And so when we're out of balance, we're gonna look for something to bring us up. We look for drugs and alcohol or behavior and we come up, then it goes down, we come up. So we're in the addiction loop. Whereas you start bringing in the nutrition, you start having this more balance. You have a more balanced brain. You start being able to get into the therapy that you need to actually address some of those traumas or things that have happened in your life. GABA, which is our a neurotransmitter that like our natural tranquilizer helps us feel calm, deal with stress. When we're low in that, we're very stiff and tense. Um, and we're gonna look for something to help, you know, alleviate stress and that tension, we often feel overwhelmed. So in that group, it's alcohol, marijuana, those are in every, every group, by the way, and sugar. Um, but also Xanax is in that group. The next group is the endorphins, our natural opiates, and um, those are our pleasure molecules. Um, pain, pleasure, reward, um, and I know we have a big opiate epidemic, and I think a lot of that is because it's a 
tricky, it's a tricky neurotransmitter because we love things and we feel like, well, there's a lot of loving feelings going into my heroin use or my sugar use or my alcohol. Um, for those who loved their substance, that's an opiate reaction. And it also creates, when you're low in your natural endorphins, natural opiates, you're extremely sensitive to the world. You just have this sensitivity where you can't handle a lot. And our endorphins are, you know, when we're in an accident and we have that had trauma, the endorphins flood to protect us. They're our natural high neurotransmitters. So they're protecting us. Um, and then they downregulate. So if you've been in an accident, you get this flood coming in and then they downregulate. And so then you're in so much pain, you actually feel the pain. But it's not just physical pain, it's also emotional pain with um, a, you know, history of chronic pain and grief as part of the opiates. And then the last one is actually blood sugar. You know, and that's why we talk about eating protein every four hours because the right protein for you because that helps feed the blood sugar so you're not you know, ping-ponging and not having any stabilization with, pro with the right protein. Mm -hmm.